Hey everybody, this is Steve, and I want to show you how to install CCT onto your computers. Um, we've had a lot of uh, questions about this. There's been a lot of problems with this. Uh, and we're going to make this video to try to uh, help alleviate some of the answers and some of the problems that you, you have out there in the field. First, right now, what I have open is the requirements for your computer for CCT. I just want to go through that because not everybody has this. It does require Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise Edition. Uh, must be 64 bits. Uh, that's because all the SQL that has to run in the background that CCT um, relies on. Um, it will not work with Windows 10 Home. So if you go to Best Buy and get your computer and it's got Windows 10 Home on it, you're going to have to upgrade it to Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Enterprise. Um, they recommend 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, that's because CCT can really bog down your computer when it's running. If you only have the minimum 4 gigs of RAM, you're going to have a very tough time uh core dual processor that's almost every computer out there and 20 gigs of free hard drive all right now that we've gone through that you go and get cct from your local distributor i work for temperature control systems in the dallas fort worth area and we'll be happy to sell you cct if you need it uh, we are uh, johnson controls and honeywell Vicon distributor so we can help you with all your needs and then you, what you'll do is you'll download it in a zip file you unzip it I've already unzipped it for time and it's not going to work this first time I'm going to show you this because I still have PCT loaded on this computer but I want to show you what it does you always want to right click this and run this as administrator if you don't, you're going to end up with um, some problems later. Um, see, I'm getting this error message. Something went wrong. PCT is the, uh, detected. Please remove PCT and run this setup again. So this is pretty easy. This is telling me exactly what I have going on wrong. So to uninstall PCT, We'll come over here and hit the Windows button and type in apps. And then we got add and remove programs right here. Uh, you want to go to, uh, this one is under Johnson Controls PCT. Some of them are um, under FX. I've seen it uh, several different ways, but you got to find where it says PCT or if you have an old copy of CCT on your computer that has to be removed to install this new one the reason is because all this new stuff is licensed um, that's how Johnson's finally getting away from everybody and their brother having CC a copy of CCT and PCT because you know those discs go out and you hand it off to your friend, and your friends hand it off to their friends, and they've got a tab contractor, and you got another contractor, and everybody had. Okay, we got our computer restarted here, and we're going to get back into this. Make sure you right click and run as administrator. Folks, if you don't do that, you will have problems later. Doing this will save you so much problems later. Regular install is fine. Now, it won't let me click this button, install button. See how it says Microsoft SQL Server 2004 or higher is required? Well, that means I have bad versions of SQL on my computer. So just uninstalling PCT wasn't enough. 
I'm going to have to go down here to the Windows button, open it up, and type in apps, add and remove apps. Now I got to go down and I got to remove every version of SQL Server that's on this computer. Just click, click uninstall, remove. What that's going to do is that one right there will knock out the majority of these. So if, if you pick the right one, it'll knock out several more of them for you. Follow the steps here to do the uninstall. should be in the installing next now check all these boxes or you could select all right there Hit next and that's going to delete all these instances of SQL server off of this computer Next, remove. And this is important. You don't want to go and load, try to load 2014, 2017, 2019 SQL on your computer because it's still not going to work. Um, it's best just to let the install media do it for you. Those versions are going to be on this install media. It will install the SQL Server version that it needs to be running with CCT. You just have to remove this old stuff and it will work fine. This is uh, where we get most of our phone calls. Um, it's not working. Well, it's not working because you still got versions of CCT or PCT or your computer, or you got SQL Server, old bits of it. If you do it the right way, it's easy. If you do it the wrong way, then we have to go in and reg edit and go through every single folder on reg edit and find any version, any mention of SQL Server, SQL and delete that out and that is a painful process so if you do it this way it's a lot easier to let your computer uninstall it itself don't go in your c drive and start deleting stuff not right off the bat let's do it this way first and if that doesn't work then give us a call then we can go look at your c drive and maybe find a folder that, that's still hanging on there that we can get rid of. But you can follow these steps. These steps are easy. Just remove PCT, CCT, and all versions of SQL Server on your computer. This one's almost done. And this one here will wipe out a lot of the SQL Server stuff. The apps there. Alright, it's done. See, it knocked out the majority of them. We still have this one here. So let's get rid of this one. Alright, that one's done. Now let's get rid of this one.
that was done. That didn't take too long. Make sure we don't have anything else there. Close. Right click. Run as administrator. Let's see if we get anything different this time. Install. Hey, look. Looks a little different now. It looks like it's actually installing. Now, this install process can take upwards of 30 minutes. It shouldn't. Mine usually takes around 10 minutes to install. But see, look, it's installing SQL Server 2017. I believe it installs 2017, 2019. I could be wrong, but it will install what it needs to install to run CCT. So I'll send this video out in hopes that you can do this at the office or at your home before you're on the job site trying to load all this stuff sitting on a bucket being a hot spot on your phone try to be where you can get good internet that way you can download the files that you need go ahead and extract the files that you need go ahead and try to do this at the office or at home that way you have the good internet that way if you do run into a problem i can team viewer into your computer help you fix it if you have the wrong version of cct or something like that you can re-download it in a matter of minutes instead of an hour because your your hot spot on your phone's shoddy and you're only getting super low download speeds and it usually holds up around step two or so let it go it it, it is working uh, I promise you don't try to restart your computer or close this out because you really cause some some damage there now if it goes 30 minutes and it hasn't changed anything uh, that's when you would probably try to restart this thing but trust me if if it takes five minutes on on one step let, let it go let it go for five, five minutes set a timer if, if it takes longer than 30 minutes there's a problem see now we're we jump from step two to step four. So it is working. almost done See, some steps take forever and some steps they jump through almost immediately all right complete finish right we're almost done so now <laughs> what we need to do is we need to go back to the field devices and install the field devices on your on the computer and the field devices or the controllers. Uh, CCT doesn't work without controllers. Just double click on that. We don't have to worry about right clicking it. Boom. It's in the, it's, it's installed. All right. Software manager. I forgot to extract this. Let me extract it real quick. It won't take long. Now, software manager is required on your computer. This is one you need to right click and run as administrator. Software manager holds all the licensing. I'll hit upgrade. I believe I already had software manager on my computer, but we'll, we'll go ahead and upgrade it to the latest and greatest version here. <clears throat> the software manager holds all the licensing. CCT will not work without software manager, and I'll prove that to you here in a second. Because um, I still haven't loaded my licenses into software manager. So let me close this. I'll close that. We'll go to CCT. Okay, see, currently unlicensed. Okay, we need to put our license in Software Manager. Let's use that to open up Software Manager. We'll accept the term and conditions. 
Now, down here is machine tag. The very first time you use this, you need to give your machine a name. Now, make it something unique. Make it something easy in case you have problems and you call your distributor. Your distributor can look on uh, the license portal here and search for machine tag. And then I can find, you say, hey, my machine's name is Steve's Training PC. Okay, I could search for that. I could find it. I can help. I can look at your licenses and make sure they're all there. Um, if your machine gets stolen or something like that, we can go and hunt that down and remove those licenses from that, that PC and put it on your, your replacement PC. So add license. We're going to do online with product key. Now we can do one at a time or we can do multiples. Here are my licenses. Let me copy this one and I'll paste it in here and we'll just do one at a time here. I'm gonna proceed. And there you go. And this, that license for was for an application called AP, um, application parameters tool. Now I'll show you how to do it multiple times. I'm gonna highlight this one, come down here. I'm gonna paste it in here. I'm gonna hit plus. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna grab the next license. Uh, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to paste it there. I'm going to put plus again. I'm going to go in here. Now I'm not worried. I'm not blurring these out because once these are used, they're done. If you try to use it on another machine, it's not going to work. Even if we remove them off of this machine, it's going to give me completely different license keys for the next one. So I no need to blur this out because you won't be able to use it. I believe you can do this uh, five. You can do up to five licenses at a time this way. And you get six with uh, the CCT bundle. And always buy the bundle. The bundle is cheaper. Even if you're never going to use any of this other stuff, it's still cheaper to buy the bundle currently. That, that, that could change, but right now it's cheaper. I'm going to activate it. This is my field device license key. So I got my CCT license key here. I got my field devices down there. Now I'm good to go. See, I'm licensed for eight, nine, eight, and six. I'll show you what that means here in a second. I'm done with license uh, software manager. I'm gonna go to CCT. I'm gonna show you that this is all licensed and good. Set the terms and conditions the very first time. Good for 10.2 to 10.5. Always start at the bottom, folks. Always start at 10.2. You can always upgrade to 10.5, but you can never downgrade to 10.5. Meaning if I build a, a computer or a, a CAF file in 10.2 and I want to put that in a newer controller, I can always upgrade that to 10.5. But if I build a program in 10.5, I can never drop it down to 10.2 and put it on an old controller. So let me show you how you know your stuff is licensed and working. You come up here and hit define hardware. And look, see everything is licensed. And then those build numbers, there's that 9, 8, and 6. So here's all my controllers. So I'm good. I'm licensed um, 100%. Now if you don't, if, if none of your, your controllers show up, that means you, you need to load the field device pack packages. If this is, says unlicensed, that means you need your license for your field device packages. So make sure that's when you go back to software manager. Make sure all your licenses are there. Make sure you got them from your distributor. You should have six in a bundle. All right. So let me show you this. This works. Um, open. I don't have any CAF files. So let's go to new. Let's make a CAF file real quick. Make a quick VAV controller. We'll type in VAV right here. We'll select the VAV system. Okay. Here's all the question and answer stuff. I'll show you this at a later date. But let's just make a CAF file right now. 
show you that this works. Okay, here's all my programming. Define hardware. Again, I'll show you this at a later date. Point assignments to give all the points and uh, position, the number. And then we're going to save. I'll put it on my desktop. So I can find it quickly. Close. And there's my cat file right there that we just created. All right, guys, I want to let you know I work for Temperature Control Systems. If you want to reach someone uh, about CCT, you can call this number right here, 214-343-1444. It's going to give you an option for automation. That's option three. If you call that number and hit autom uh, option three, you're guaranteed to talk to someone that knows what CCT is and that can sell you CCT, help you out with it. Um, always buy the bundle. Well, here's our other locations. Just Google temperature control systems. Find the local one in your area. Even if we're not in your area, we can we can might be able to help you out that knows automation.